Hey all, this is our third video in our series looking at animal energies and how they are often manipulated and reversed in mainstream society. So today we're going to be looking at the pig energy. So we have our pig totem with us. So now we're, we know that uh, pig energy is also with us. So pig is very beneficial and very empowering. Pig resonates with fullness, prosperity, spiritual richness, fortitude, and passion. Pig brings speed and quickness to situations and uses the power of pig-headedness uh, to make sure that nothing stands in its way. So it's stubbornness with a purpose. Pigs are highly intelligent and they ask us to use our own wit and reasoning when faced with difficult circumstances within our life. So in other words, we have the power within ourselves to make decisions that are best for our life. Pigs are symbols of staying power and resilience. They bring the kind of wisdom that only comes from life experiences so you know that it's truthful and you know that it's real. Pigs ask us to look at our own desires and to hold them in balance, allowing us to manifest our life force, our motivations, and be very procreative in our own life. Pig connects us back to our natural states. So pig reminds us that we are also animals and that we belong in the animal kingdom, not separate from it. And that that is where a lot of the disconnect and disharmony comes from within our own lives. Funnily enough, pig is a symbol of material wealth, money, energy, and balanced finances. So this is the reason why we're told to keep money in a piggy bank. Because even though mainstream society doesn't usually realize it, um, that is the reason and uh, pig attracts that type of wealth and uses it as a supportive energy for money energy. Now when we look at how pigs um, are perceived in society, we can see it's a stark contrast from these truthful wisdoms that pig actually brings. Uh, firstly, the term pig is commonly interchanged for the words lazy, overweight, stupid, sloth, dirty, and out of balance. Typically, someone who is a pig uh, is slovenly and unkept, ugly and miserable. It's not used as a positive word. It's always a derogatory term. So we see that this is the exact opposite of the truthful energies of the pig. Pig energy is electrified. Uh, it calls you to action, calls you to motion. It asks you to get moving and to follow your passion. And it helps you to build a stronger life's purpose based on you following that passion. So when you eat pig flesh on a physical level, you're actually quite literally suffocating your cells of oxygen and thickening your blood. So this is going to physically induce lethargy, uh, sickness, energetic disease, catatonic states, and it's the precursor to all of the illnesses that are plaguing us, um, human, humankind, basically, you know, heart disease, cancer, just to name the two top killers. Um, but it's the precursor to those life-threatening illnesses. So when pigs are raised in factory farms or for, in for consumption setups, um, it's going to be more profitable to overfeed them and genetically modify them to gain a huge amount of weight in a very short period of time. They keep them combined in small spaces for the same purpose. Um, so this is a reversal and a grotesque perversion of the pig's truthful inherent energies. Not only is this manipulated energy being then consumed when you eat pig flesh, but also the eating of the flesh is causing a reversed physical condition within the body, meaning... That pig energy in its rightful state is supposed to be motivating, action-filled. You're supposed to be following your life's pursuits. However, when you take it in on a physical level and consume it, especially when it's raised in such a horrific and opposite of its life's purpose way, um, you're taking in all of that manipulation, all of that stagnancy, all of that sickness, and you're actually going to manifest it as a life that is not full of action, but in fact is the opposite. So it's a horrible corruption of the wisdom of the pig. Um, and unfortunately, just like the chicken and the cow, pig is used as a weapon against humanity. So not only are, is humanity as a whole suffering just from interacting with pig in this way, ignoring its truthful wisdoms, and then consuming its flesh after it's been horribly um, abused and tortured, uh, basically, it's, it's hurting humanity, but also hurting the lineage of the pig energy. Because pig was never meant to come here to hurt us. They were meant to come here and to deliver some very truthful information 
that needs to be learned within our life cycles. So I hope you all learned a little bit more about the pig and have a little bit more respect for how important it is that we start changing some of these factory farm situations and some of our eating habits. So I hope everyone has a great night. I've got two more videos to post up as well, and I hope everyone set their new moon intentions. All right, so thank you to the beautiful pig, and thank you to you, and thank you to Gaia, and I will see you soon. Thanks.